Now we're writing lots of JavaScript these days and uh, you know the reason for that is it's the only language that runs everywhere all the way from your phone all to the server. So performance and you know profiling your JavaScript becomes extremely important. So let me show you a really quick tip that allows you to profile uh, or you know just see the quality of your web pages. Hit F12 uh, and for this what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this window a whole lot bigger. Actually we can you know even do it like this. So uh, the, the two things I'm going to show you, number one is something called as audits, right? Use audits on your pages, it's a good thing. So you can say audit either present state or you can say reload the page and audit on load, right? So I'm going to hit run, you can try the other one and it tells you that there are some improvements that I can make to my site over here, right? So I guess I'll get around to it, right? So uh, you know, there are things that I can do to improve my site. These are things that you should probably check out on your pages as well. So that's one thing. The second thing that I'd like you to look at is this view up here on our network. So you'll see these two lines appear inside of your view, okay? So the, the difference between these two lines is that one of them is document dot ready and the second one is window on load. And the difference is between these two times over here is the time it took to load your images, etc. Right. So this is very important because, you know, if you're not caching enough images or maybe you can gain a lot by chunking your images together, you want to make sure that these two lines are as close as possible to each other. So pay attention to these things when you are writing your page. Obviously, clearly, I need to pay more attention to my site here, but I'll get to it at some point. You know, the tailor's clothes, tailor's children have uh, torn clothes or something like that. But Another really cool thing you can see over here is that you can hover on any element over here. And your know, WebKit based browsers do a very good job of this. IE 11 does a pretty good job of this as well. And it shows you exactly, you know, how much time was taken in which step, right? And, and this is also very, very useful. 